Wrestlers put their bodies through a lot to entertain fans. It often catches up with them and as a result, stars pass away sooner than expected. The number of tragedies, be it the passing of legends at a young age or those that battle demons in later years. 2022 has not been kind of the wrestling community and there have been a number of deaths. This is Wrestling Up and here are wrestlers that passed away this year. Before we get into the rest of the video, make sure you subscribe to Wrestling Hub and turn on all notifications to stay up to date with everything in the world of pro wrestling. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Wrestling Hub Official and also follow us on Twitter at Wrestling underscore Hub. Another wrestling legend, Candy Devine, passed away earlier this year on February 9th, 2022. Devine was best known for winning several world championships in different promotions she wrestled. She was a part of the American Wrestling Association where she won the AWA Women's Championship four times. She was a physical trainer after retiring from wrestling in 1998. She was also telecast in Divorce Court where she sued her longtime boyfriend for running over her cat with his car and killing it. She was ruled in favor of and was awarded $280. She went on to reconcile with her boyfriend. In 2021, she suffered a collapsed long and suffered several seizures as well as a spinal injury. Rocky King was an American wrestler and referee in Jim Crockett Promotions and later WCW. He was homeless before he began wrestling. He used the ring name Ricky King and started as a jobber, but improved enough to be allowed a lot more offense in his matches. He became a manager of Michael Hayes and Jimmy Garvin, the fabulous Freebirds. He then went on to become a referee before retiring in 1998. He passed away earlier this year, March 27, 2022, aged 64 years old. Super Moneco was an extremely famous masked professional Mexican wrestler. He had the second highest number of Luchas de Espuetas, aka best matches. He won the mask on the hair of over 100 opponents. His real name is not known according to wrestling tradition in Mexico for masked wrestlers. He faced top stars across Mexico throughout his career. He was married for 20 years, and it was his wife's suggestion that brought up the name. They had a child together. He unfortunately passed away on February 9th of 2022 at 59 years of age. His battle with health issues had lasted a while, and he was fighting diabetes. He had been hospitalized in serious condition due to his issues with his lungs stemming from COVID. He had supposedly left the hospital and was recovering when he passed. His last match was three years back in 2019. Another wrestling veteran, Dee Boer, was a legend in the ring. She was known for her appearances in Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling or Glow. There, she wrestled as Matilda the Hun. She also appeared in several movies, wrestling and mud shows. She made her debut as Queen Kong. Since she was not allowed to wrestle men by the California Wrestling Commission, she instead wrestled a 320-kilogram bear. She worked with Glow creators and directors to cast, recruit, and train the wrestlers to perform in the show. She used to do a big splash as a finishing. Unfortunately, due to spinal deterioration, she used a motorized wheelchair to go around. She also suffered from lupus and peripheral neuropathy. She died on January 2022. Ricky Hunter was also known as the Gladiator when he wrestled under a mask. Best known for his time in WWE, then known as WWF in the 1980s, he wrestled throughout the US and Canada. He also wrestled in Australia, Japan, and England. He never really won anything while in WWF, but was a part of the company for over 11 years. He passed away on February 8, 2022 at the age of 85. Former WWE wrestler Adam Windsor passed away on April 21st, 2022 at only 41 years of age. He passed away due to heart issues. Corey Graves and others pay tribute to the veteran wrestler. I'm truly gutted by the news about Adam Windsor. He finally reconnected after many years at WrestleMania Dallas. See you down the road, my friend. Positive vibes to Adam's friends and family.
Mickey Hinton is a wrestler and referee who is a part of both WWE and WCW. While he was in WWE between 92 and 93, he left to be a part of WCW till 2001. He came back to WWE in 05. Although he debuted as a wrestler in the beginning, facing The Undertaker, Sid, The Nasty Boys, and others, his career as a referee is what he was known for. He was diagnosed with mantle cell lymphoma in 2008 and was given months to live, but he beat the cancer. He ended up dying from COVID pneumonia on February 4th, 2022 at only 59. Scott Hall's passing shook the wrestling world this year. Extremely prominent in WWE as Razor Ramon originally, he became known for being one of the most brutal and best wrestlers of all time. Together with Shawn Michaels, he crafted the ladder match to become what it is today. However, the biggest impact he had was when he jumped ship from WWE to WCW as The Outsider. He was later joined by Kevin Nash, and together with Hulk Hogan, they founded the NWO, changing the wrestling world. He wrestled with his own demons later in his life, fighting against addiction and other health issues. He was able to overcome a majority of them thanks to DDP. His life support was turned off and he passed away on March 14th, 2022. He had undergone surgery in early March of 2022 for a broken hip that he had sustained during a fall. He had cardiac issues previously and after the routine surgery to fix his hip, he suffered three heart attacks and was put on life support. Katsuya Kitamura had won the Young Lion Cub and won the 2017 Wrestling Observer Rookie of the Year. At a very early age, he was showing that he was more than ready to make it to the big stage and that he had all the promise in the world. He won the All Japan Championship three times in the Greco-Roman Wrestling and was going to go to the Olympics in 2012, but he was banned from the sport for two years thanks to use of anabolic steroids. Instead, he continued to grow and become a professional wrestler. He weighed in at 265 pounds and at age 36, he was already struggling with issues surrounding his health. He suffered a very bad concussion during a 2018 tag team match in New Japan and then went on to injure his leg in an accident with a scooter in 2019. He wanted to return to the ring but also took up two other careers at the same time. He began a career in MMA as well as bodybuilding. While he was not successful, losing his MMA debut in Ryzen, the worst was yet to come. The exact cause of his passing was not publicly revealed but Tokyo Sports reported that he felt there was something wrong and how he was doing and on the same day called an ambulance to take him to the hospital. Once he reached, things started to go wrong. The exact reason he passed is still not reported but he passed away. The wrestling world also lost the 49-year-old Raziel this year. The superstar, who had been a member of the CMLL roster, sustained a back injury in November 2021. However, reports by the Wrestling Observer revealed that the superstar, who was one-third of the Mexican Nation Trios champions, passed away in April 2022. While the reason for his passing was unclear, the World Wrestling Council announced that the 49-year-old superstar passing was due to a car crash. Black man, also known as Alvaro Melendez Tibanes, was a Mexican luchador. He passed away on February 28, 2022, only nine days after his 73rd birthday. He was diagnosed with pneumonia, unrelated to COVID-19, back in September 2021. It's not known if this was what led to his passing, but his overall health was reportedly poor since then, and he ended up passing away after his 73rd birthday. Throughout his long wrestling career, he helped create a culture of high-flying offense in Mexico, something that has lasted to this day and in some ways taken over wrestling as a whole. A former WWE referee, Tim White, is one of the more familiar faces in officiating for most wrestling fans. He died on June 19, 2022 at the age of 68. He was a part of WWE for 24 years and was a bright light in the WWE locker room. Dolph Ziggler even talked about him and how much he helped the WWE stars during his time. Tim White brightened every room he walked into and the WWE locker room was especially lucky to have him. Being around Timmy on several PR tours was a joy. We would get our work done and meet after and he would tell old world stories and we'd laugh till the sun came up. Years, sir. According to a report, he died after complications arose from a shoulder's injury. Gene LaBelle was always an influential figure in the pro wrestling and MMA world. He had been declining in health ever since the start of 2022. He died on August 9th of this year at his home in Sherman Oaks, California with his wife at his side. He was a national judo champion and although he struggled as a pro wrestler, he did find some success. He was also the mentor to Ronda Rousey before she became the first ever UFC women's champion.
Dave Hebner is one of the most recognizable referees of all time. The referee passed away on June 17th of 2022. He was the twin brother of Earl and was survived by his wife and two daughters. He was also the famed evil twin during the storyline between Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant. Yesterday, I had to say my last goodbye to my other half, my partner in crime, my road buddy for years, my brother for 73 years. I love you, David. I'll never count you out. This came after a lengthy fight with Parkinson's disease. Tarzan Goto passed away on May 29th after he lost his fight with liver cancer, according to Dave Meltzer. He was 58 years old and was a former sumo wrestler. He began his wrestling career in 1981 and joined All Japan. He would go on to win the Tokyo Sports Best Bout Award twice in his life. Sarah Lee was one of the most recent winners of WWE Tough Enough. She passed away at just 30 years of age on October 6th. She is survived by her three children and her husband, former WWE star Wesley Blake. The cause of her death was unclear at first, but she did mention that she had been battling sinus infection for a while. However, it appeared that she was fine still, and seemingly was on med with her posting pictures of herself. Her mother would share an update saying she passed away and asked for space for her family to mourn. It is with heavy hearts we wanted to share that our Sarah Weston has gone to be with Jesus. We are all in shock and arrangements are not complete. We ask that you respectfully let our family mourn. While she didn't have a long career in WWE, she did spend a year with WWE before going on to wrestle in the indie circuit. Bull James organized a GoFundMe for her husband and three children, with stars like Becky Lynch, CM Punk, and Natalya donating. The exact reason for her passing is still not known. Blake stepped back from social media during that time as well. Corey has taken a step back from social media, but is blown away by the generosity everyone has shown. Through the darkest times, you guys have been a ray of light. Thank you. We'll never be enough. There are very few names in the world of pro wrestling that have as much of an impact as the legend himself, Antonio Inoki. The wrestler is probably one of the most well-known names in Japan. The star died after a huge battle with amyloidosis. This was a rare organ disease where all of his organs were under attack. He had to be put in a wheelchair because of the condition as he could no longer have his legs carry himself. He died at the age of 79. He left his mark in the world by founding New Japan back in 1972. He was also the top attraction of the promotion for the better part of a decade. He also faced Muhammad Ali himself in a mixed rules fight in 1976. In many ways, this was the precursor to MMA in the US and was thus influential in another field as well. He was also responsible for organizing the biggest wrestling event of all time in North Korea with WCW's combined tour with New Japan. The show was headed in a match between Ric Flair and himself with it being a dream match for many. He finally retired in 03 but was the head of New Japan until 05, after which he sold his 51.5% controlling share in the company to the video game company Ukes. And these were wrestlers that passed away this year. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.